Hi guys, how are you? My name is Juan Titania. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. And in this video, we're going to listen to what the old Mosler used to be like. Uh, the apolitical Warren Mosler, who was just merely talking about the description of the monetary system, the micro description of the monetary system. Um, and a far cry from what he is today. Today, he's just, I don't know. <laughs> He's a wall. He's lost it. He's just running around saying stupid shit, uh, along with all the other uh, MMT tards. They're just saying stupid, stupid prescription nonsense. They, they, they're just uh, an embarrassment. But the title alone it says, you know, why has, uh, uh, why MMT has not been embraced by uh, those in power? Well, it has not been embraced by those in power because. Uh, They've been doing this for years. That's how we got the 22 trillion of public debt. Okay, there's nothing modern about spending tax. Nothing. Spend the tax has been going on forever. <laughs> well, forever since the 70s, right? There's nothing modern about that. What is theory is the prescription bullshit that they they're pushing today which they were obviously not pushing back in 2013 when this video was made, okay? 2013, right here. So, um, as you guys know, I was one of the first MMTers back 2010, 2011. Uh, I've eaten it with a spoon. I was the first, uh, uh, not the first, but one of the first who YouTubed it, okay? Uh, many years ago, when I was fighting the pull yourself up by the bootstraps personal responsibility live within your means fucking idiots deficits are going to cause inflation buy gold buy silver right remember those guys well, I was making fun of them I was battling them daily anyway so today we know that MMT has been rejected by everybody on the planet nobody agrees with it nobody agrees with prescription MMT and that's why we started Pure MMT, okay? So, anyway, let's listen to what um, Mosley used to sound like and what he sounds like today. Let me just say one more thing about taxes, if I can, and, uh, and the size of government, because I want to make this entirely apolitical, which it should be. The size of government. Entirely apolitical as it should be. See? Normal Mosler, right? making perfect sense <laughs> and I was going to give you a real nice description of the monetary system okay is a political question how many teachers do we want in the classrooms how many soldiers do we want in the army if you take too many there'll be nobody left to grow the food and we're going to starve if you take too few we're going to lose the war these are all political decisions of what resources we want moved from the private sector to the public sector. And you'll have differences of opinion. Some people think we need more government. Some people think we have less government. But once we've settled politically on the right size government, then there is an appropriate level of taxes that allows the right size deficit, so we have the right amount of savings to offset our pension needs and stay at full employment. So given that the size of the government is a political decision that should be based on whether the economy's good or bad, we need to a legal system. How many judges and clerks do we need? Well, you know, if there's a 10-year wait, maybe we need more. Okay. If they're calling you up asking you to see, why don't you go out and sue somebody? We have people waiting around to try to have trial. Maybe, maybe we've got too many of them in here, right? See, so you've got to come up with the right size for the legal system and everything else. Once you've done that, taxes are the thermostat on the wall. If, unemployment, if the economy's ice cold and unemployment's high, you're taking too much money out for the size government we have, and you need lower taxes for that size government. If, on the other hand, it's overheating, there's too much spending, and prices are going up too fast, and unemployment's too low, whatever that means, then taxes have to be raised, to, because for the size government we have, uh, taxes aren't high enough. We're not taking enough money out, okay? So for this right size government, taxes are the thermostat on the wall. It's, they're not there to balance the budget, to bring in money. We're just changing numbers down. We're changing numbers up. The deficits are residual. You find out afterwards if it was a right-sized deficit by counting the bodies in the unemployment line. Now, you find out later. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. So, 
makes sense, right? So if you want more teachers, right, you want a bigger government, you want more police officers, you want more judges, you want whatever it is that is the, the government, okay? Makes perfect sense. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Uh, if you have too much inflation, right, then you, the thermostat on the wall, taxes, which is the same thing as deficits, okay? Uh, you increase the taxes. On who? Who do you increase the taxes on? The people that consume, right, uh, every almost 100% of their income. That's the 95%. That's you and me. We increase the taxes on them, okay, to, to cool it off a little bit. And then if there's too much unemployment, you lower taxes. What are you doing? You're increasing deficits, okay, counter-cyclical, counter um, to, to, uh, to boost investment, right? But that's what we've been doing. What was deficits in 2008? 10% of GDP. Okay, trillion dollars. What are deficits today? At full employment, a trillion dollars, 4.5% of GDP, 4.7, whatever it is. So what's modern about that? Now that Trump increased deficits, lowered taxes, doing the MMT thing. Oh, well, Trump is an asshole. Oh, horrible. Oh, that's not the way it should be. But that's what he was saying in 2013 and now it's not good enough apolitical no my ass apolitical okay there's been a big shift in MMT unfortunately uh, a description is a, a micro description of the monetary system is not macroeconomics does it influence parts of microeconomics of course it does but it's not macroeconomics we don't go out and start spending and then see what, you know, f the bodies uh, <laughs> on the unemployment line were, were good enough or not. That's too late, my friend. Okay, too late. Way too late. And if you noticed in his little description, as simplified as it was, and makes everybody believe that he invented fucking deficit spending and taxing... <laughs> Again, it's just a description to get everybody, you know, aware of basically how things work. Doesn't mean it's perfect. So, um, again, what what is he what is he viewing the economy as? Government and deficits. That's it. Not once did he mention the the private sector. Not once did he mention profit. Okay. <clears throat> those things don't don't apply in MMT. In MMT, the private sector, profit, uh, that shit, oh, no, 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 let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about profits. Profits are bad. Okay. So it leads people to believe that the act of printing dollars is what creates value for a currency. Well, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to look at history. Venezuela, Turkey, Argentina... Zimbabwe, right? They all thought the same thing. We can just print value for a currency, and we'll be fine. It doesn't work that way. Okay? You need a private sector that is productive. All right? Anyway, I'll stop here. I'm going to be making more of these videos. But I want you to see the difference between what Moser and MMT used to be, and what it is today, and why... Uh, I'm so against this prescription MMT, why pure MMT was created, okay? Um, you know, I need you guys to start picking up on this stuff, all right? Start realizing that these guys are not out to help anybody, okay? They'll just use nice marketing words. We'll give you free this, we'll give you free that, free this, and free that, and then we'll count the bodies. Yeah, we don't want to count bodies. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.